Born on the 29th of December, 1989, in Kandla, South Africa, Bongin Kosi Karnile emerged as a prominent figure during the 2015 to 2016 hashtag fees must fall protests. He enrolled at the Durban University of Technology and became actively involved in student politics. Despite a number of challenges, he remained dedicated to his studies, even completing exams while incarcerated. Notably, he graduated cum laude from DUT in 2017 with a national diploma in public management and economics. He later pursued an honors degree in social sciences and even began a master's program at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to education. Bongin Kosi Karnile is a South African figure who has garnered significant attention for his involvement in various spheres, including student activism, politics, and most recently, the Mkonto Waces Way Party. His journey reflects both his personal evolution and the ongoing quest for social and political change within South Africa. In 2015, Bongin Kosi Karnile emerged as a prominent leader in the hashtag Fees Must Fall movement a student-led campaign demanding accessible and affordable university education in South Africa. His activism, along with the collective actions of countless students, brought national and international attention to the issue of financial barriers preventing many South Africans from pursuing higher education. This movement played a significant role in pressuring the government to address the problem and initiate reforms in the higher education sector. Carnile's leadership and dedication during this period solidified his position as a voice for educational equality in South Africa. Beyond his role in student activism, Carnile has also been involved in various political parties throughout his career. He initially belonged to the African National Congress. However, he later joined the Economic Freedom Fighters, a more radical left-wing party, before ultimately aligning himself with the Patriotic Alliance led by Gayton McKenzie in 2019. However, his most recent shift in December 2023 saw him expelled from the PA, due to his association with the newly formed MK party, led by former President Jacob Zuma. This evolving political journey highlights the complexities of South Africa's political landscape, and Carnile's own search for his place within it. Carnile's current role within the MK party further underscores his continued engagement with the South African political sphere. In January 2024, Bongin Kosi Karnile took on a new role within South Africa's political landscape. He was appointed as the national coordinator and volunteer-in-chief of the Mkonto Wiesizwe party, led by former President Jacob Zuma. This appointment placed him at the forefront of mobilizing the party's youth base in the lead-up to the crucial 2024 general elections. Carnile's task is to energize and organize young South Africans who identify with the MK party's platform and vision for the country's future. His ability to connect with this demographic and inspire their political participation could significantly impact the party's performance in the upcoming elections. It is important to note that Carnile is also facing legal charges related to the July 2021 unrest in South Africa. His story takes a complex turn when considering the legal charges he faces. In July 2021, South Africa experienced a period of unrest, and Carnile was subsequently charged with offences related to those events. With South Africa approaching the 2024 general elections, Bongin Kosi Carnile's influence and the MK Party's performance are set to be under close scrutiny. Carnile's role as the party's national coordinator and volunteer in chief places him at the centre of mobilising the youth base, a crucial demographic in any election. The MK Party, led by former President Jacob Zuma, has its own set of challenges and potential impact on the upcoming political landscape. As the country navigates this significant event, Carnile's past experiences and the MK Party's performance will undoubtedly be contributing factors to the overall political discourse and outcome. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.